Yeah. So hello everyone. Today we have a very special guest on our channel. We have Sufia. So Sufia, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi Ashish. Thank you so much for inviting me over on your YouTube channel. Uh, so I am Sufia Ashraf, and I belong to a small place in UP near Varanasi. Um, so I did my engineering in Jamia Millia Islamia. I graduated in 2021, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that is a small intro about me. <laughs> Yes, so Sufia is here to talk about her interview experience at Adobe. So Sufia, tell us in details how was your interview experience? How did you apply everything in details? Okay, uh, so firstly, I got uh, based on my LinkedIn profile, mm -hmm. uh, the recruiter called me, and okay. um, she introduced me with the uh, position at Adobe. Yes. And um, so we discussed over the call. It was a short fifteen minutes call only. Mm -hmm. She she discussed about the my my skills, my prior prior experiences. my technical skills and all of the uh, those we discussed mm -hmm. and uh, based on the discussion she shortlisted me for the interview rounds mm -hmm. so for me it was um, total six rounds of interview okay five were, uh, five were technical interviews mm -hmm. and uh, um, basically all of the interviews are technical only mm -hmm. uh, if if there is an hm round or director round it's mostly techno managerial only mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you can expect all the rounds uh, uh, will be technical Mm -hmm. and uh, you can also expect leadership uh, questions in between yeah. yes. so so based on your experience and uh, uh, your technical skills uh, it will be four to five technical rounds uh, for you so yeah uh, it was uh, four to five rounds of interview so do you want to discuss uh, in detail each round yes like what was asked in those rounds the problems you were okay. asked the difficulty Okay, so my interview was for full stack developer mm -hmm. role, and yes. uh, so in the uh, I think uh, two two rounds of interview was scheduled on the same day, mm -hmm. and uh, so the recruiter called me and she scheduled the interview on the same day. Okay. First round was uh, first round was taken by an SD at Adobe only, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh there were three coding questions okay uh, i would say difficulty was easy to medium mm -hmm. uh it was not a very hard level question uh it was uh, easy to medium only uh, based on uh, array and okay. stack okay yes three 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 coding question mm -hmm. was there and you can easily find those question on gfg or leetcode yeah code. yes uh, so uh, it's uh, like uh, during college we mm -hmm. used to practice the gfg and leetcode yeah. so it's uh, it's more majorly that only hmm. so they were pretty standard question first round was uh, was uh, no, not very difficult round mm -hmm. and um, the second round of interview was also similar to the first round only mm -hmm. they asked two coding questions and uh, the uh, the interviewers at adobe are like really nice person they mm -hmm. are just very friendly and they will just guide you through uh, whatever uh, whatever you are uh, thinking of just uh, mention it clearly mm -hmm. to the interviewer uh, just be transparent and uh, be loud yes. uh, think think out loud mm -hmm. you are allowed to think out loud and you will be given the opportunity to express your thoughts so just um, so use this freedom of expressing and just um, just think out and uh, you will be able to solve the problem it's not very difficult yes and uh, if you have practiced dsa acche uh, se then you can uh, get through these two rounds easily mm -hmm. so right. so the third third interview round was uh, since i am an experienced candidate third mm -hmm. interview round was based on uh, the designing part most yes. uh, the, the adobe acrobat reader they have the search functionality you know mm -hmm. uh, you can search for a word in the yeah. key, uh, keyword in the document yes. so uh, so it was um, based on uh, something uh, similar to that mm -hmm. and um, so a third third round was basically uh, more like a designing question mm -hmm. okay right. uh so uh third round also went pretty well for mm -hmm. me uh, then fourth round uh, was taken by um, uh, a computer scientist uh, mm -hmm. at adobe yeah. cs1 he was cs1 at san jose san jose jose uh, center yes. so <clears throat> wahan pe uh, they discussed my previous projects my mm -hmm. previous experiences and uh, we had a very healthy discussion about my technical skills and uh, all the project that i worked on or fir um, uske so, baad uh, uh, since my role was full stack developer mm -hmm. they were interviewing me for full stack so uh, they also asked me some react based questions 
since they were looking for full stack so a uh, back end uh, was covered in the third round mm -hmm. and uh, the fourth round covered a uh, front end part yes. so yeah front end designing we uh, i was given a code sandbox link mm -hmm. and um, so there we coded a little react project so this was like my complete coding. fourth round yeah live coding we did mm -hmm. and uh, it was a small uh, small question only but we did a live coding of a react uh, yes. uh, based question ha huh. so this was all about fourth round mm -hmm. my fifth round of interview was mm -hmm. uh, scheduled by an hiring manager so the hiring manager uh, also uh, discussed majorly on my previous projects there was no straight forward question to it yeah. but my previous projects and my previous experiences was dis uh, discussed and it was the discussion went over one and a half hour i guess yeah. so for one and a half hour we were discussing what are the projects that i worked on and he he also he was so excited to give the feedback that he gave the positive feedback like it's a positive feedback <laughs> yeah. from my side generally in the interview you won't get any yes. feedback yeah. uh, what whatever the feedback is you won't uh, receive it during an interview <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah no you won't receive it uh, so um, so the hiring manager was uh, like uh, he he gave the feedback there and then only and um, so that was um, so i cannot disclose uh, what are the uh, exact questions mm -hmm, exact right, problems right, right. because of ndas yes, yes. Uh, and so this was the fourth round majorly discussion on mm -hmm. projects uh, that you have mentioned on resume and uh, you can think of it techno managerial round yeah. coding uh, projects plus That's managerial right. questions mm -hmm. like a leadership principle questions you should you should be leader you should have some yeah. leadership qualities yes. to work at a company so this was all and uh, then uh, i had my sixth round of interview with the director at adobe mm -hmm. so uh, the director round uh, they uh, i think he asked me few leadership questions mm -hmm. uh, for the first half an hour he he totally asked me what are the leadership principles like questions like uh, if you have a conflict why are you joining mm -hmm. adobe right. and um, you won't leave adobe for google or <laughs> any company yeah. like this yes. <laughs> so these type of questions classic questions uh, classic managerial questions were asked and then uh, the other one and hour one hour uh, they asked for um, one coding question was asked uh, i think it was uh, based on permutation mm -hmm. permutation of uh, given array yes. you have to lex lexicographically arrange mm -hmm. that per permutation so that question was asked and there was a bit modification in the follow up question mm -hmm. uh, so this this took almost one hour and uh, i was done with the interview and i think after uh, uh, that day only i received the call from recruiter that uh, i have been uh, given the offer mm -hmm. and uh, i they 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 were open for negotiation so i negotiated also <laughs> and yeah. this is the first step if you if you know your worth just Definitely. negotiate yes. your offer don't don't shy away with negotiating recruiters give the offer mm -hmm. firstly that they are expecting that you will be negotiating if you don't negotiate then it's your loss mm -hmm. so just negotiate the offer and accept it when you are uh, fully satisfied and um, yeah so uh, i also negotiated and then i accepted when i was like okay with the offer <clears throat> yeah this was my complete experience a okay. uh, few tips i would like to share if you are preparing for ds algo uh, just um, just uh, don't blindly follow any if you are preparing for the first time just don't blindly follow any sd sheet because the sd yes. sheets that are given it's based on their mindset mm. in, on their um, their capabilities mm. so okay. you know your capability you make your own dsa sheet you start preparing uh, from the very beginning from the scratch you start the pre preparation and uh, <clears throat> once you uh, know that you are a great fit for the topic that you are given any qu question any problem statement mm -hmm. then you will be able to solve it like uh, suppose there is an array topic just uh, solve so as many questions as you can until you are confident enough that uh, array is uh, i'm something that i'm yeah, comfortable yes. with if you are preparing for linked list then solve as many problems start mm -hmm. from the basics go to the hard level and just um, just practice uh, a lot uh, mm -hmm. like as much as you can really it's like a math problem yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's like a math problem just uh, practice and uh, you will be uh, a good if you are good enough at it then you will gain enough confidence mm -hmm. that you are given right, any right, question right. you'll be able to solve it so just treat it like a math problem and just practice as much as you can
be consistent first of all yes definitely. be consistent uh, yeah yeah uh, be consistent at least solve one or two daily uh, co- lead coding problems mm-hmm. or glg problems to solve at least one problem daily then you will be co- if you are consistent then you will be able to crack any interview that comes uh, during your practice just be consistent yeah yes. that is uh, better so it's really commendable that you went through all of these rounds and got placed at such a great company so what advice would you give to people you know who are watching this and want to crack a good company like yours in their placements okay uh, so first of all uh, during college bahut uh, overwhelming ho jata hai for preparing for placement right. uh, i just want to say just don't give up yet hmm. uh, trust yourself and trust the process if you look at your seniors all of them will be working uh, they they are settled hmm. they are somewhere settled so you don't you just don't worry and just be prepared for the placements be, be prepared for the interview that you will be going through uh, do some projects uh, if you are uh, confident on dsa start doing some uh, web development projects yes. uh, because this this is what you will be working in the company mm. get a good grab on the projects whatever uh, projects you are mentioning on the resume you should know what you have done hmm, so right. uh, just don't copy and paste uh, projects uh, from here and there so hmm. you should know uh, the details because interview uh, interviewers interview, will be yeah. asked hmm. uh, they will be asking uh, okay, what what uh, what is the concept that you use what well, what is the authorization uh, framework that you have been using in this project so all the this uh, small details question they will be asking in the interview hmm, so right. just be prepared for that and uh, i think uh, yeah projects and dsa they, they, this these two will be covered in the interview uh, if if you are uh, joining as a fresher so uh, i think yeah we are good so thanks a lot sufia for coming on my channel and sharing your journey with me and my subscribers i hope it will help a lot of students and one more thing guys so sufia might be opening a youtube channel herself to teach you guys programming dsa and placement provision stuff so you can follow her linkedin id and keep updated from there so thanks again sufia Yeah, thank you, Ashish. I hope this video reaches as many people as they it can, and it helps a lot for the placement of students.